Hello, my name is Jim Wallace. I'm President and CEO of Electrosoft Incorporated, a contract manufacturer located in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania. Our specialty is printed circuit board assemblies, wire harness, cable assemblies, and what we call box builds. We here at Electrosoft take special care in ensuring that our printed circuit board assemblies meet all the requirements of the drawings and are certified to all the ESD standards. Today I have Roger McAteer here with me from Wilson Industries who's going to help demonstrate how to ensure that your work surfaces are ESD safe. Uh, we have a couple of examples here on the table that I'd like to demonstrate for you. But first, Roger McAteer of Wilson Industries. We are representatives for Desco Industries and their family of static control products. And we work with a number of companies such as Electrosoft to uh, improve uh, their static control uh, um, programs. Well, Roger, could you tell us what ESD is? ESD is electrostatic discharge. This discharge happens when two surfaces come together and separate. You will have friction, and that friction will cause a charge. These charges we want to eliminate from the ESD workstations and the handling of printed circuit boards and components. Now, what we're going to do is demonstrate the uh, seemingly harmless effects of some items you might find on a, on a common work surface in a lot of companies. The first item will be a roll of scotch tape that you might find on the bench which you would use to pack up your components or actually to seal the box uh, of the circuit boards. Roger. So there we had uh, the initial charge of over 3,000 static volts on just a piece of scotch tape. In addition, you may find a component bag that you might receive from your vendor or perhaps your stock room has actually added the components on the stock pull or the pick for that particular job. Roger? Just simple handling of some of these plastic bags, you'll see you can get 100 over 800 to 1,000 volts, static volts on the charge. Another seemingly harmless item is a water bottle or a bottle that contains some juice or liquid of some type, especially now during the summer months. Roger. And we can see we have 5,000 static volts charged up on the outside of the plastic water bottle. Now that we've shown you how some seemingly common items on a workbench can cause damage, Roger, how can we eliminate or minimize any ESD damage on the work surfaces? So what we want to do is establish an ESD protected area or an EPA. Um, and this will consist of a table mat that is a dissipative material, um, a ground cord and wrist strap for the operator tied into a common point ground. And in addition to that, what we want to do is eliminate any insulators that may be at a workstation, such as parts bins, and replace them with conductive ones that will go to ground through the mat and replace standard plastic bottles with ones that will go to ground so that we have everything at zero voltage and not able to discharge. This will demonstrate how our ESD table mat works. Uh, this is a sample of a conductor uh, and an insulator. As they come together and separate, you'll see that there's a charge on both of the units. However, the conductor, when it's placed on the mat, the charge is drained. The insulator, by definition, it, it will not conduct electricity, the charge remains. And that's why we need to eliminate insulators from the workstation. Once we are finished at our workstation and we need to transport products, in order to leave the ESD protected area, we must use shielding, either shielding from a metalized bag that the part or assembly will be placed into, and then the bag closed and the package sealed to give it full protection. At that point, you could disconnect and handle this without any problems. To handle it again, it should be brought back to an ESD protected area, at which point when I connect my wrist strap and I touch the bag, any charge on the bag is taken to ground. The other alternate shielding op opportunity we have would be for using a ESD dissipative tote. And this is where we would put an item in a board, cover it with a lid, and then it's free to be transported around safely.